Raise your hand if you like eating vegetables. And raise your hand if you like eating candy. Vegetables are really good for you. Candy, in moderation, little bits. Well, in this silly story called Little P, we follow this P who has to eat all of his candy before he can have his vegetables. This book was written by Amy Krause Rosenthal, and the pictures were drawn by Jen Cordes. All right. Little P. This is the story of Little P, Mama P, and Papa P. Little P was a happy little guy. He liked to do lots of things. He liked rolling down hills, for example, super fast. He liked hanging out with his pea pals. Look, they're playing hopscotch and they're on swings. He liked it when Papa P came home at the end of the day. Papa P would fling Little P off a spoon high into the air, and Little P would scream again, again. At bedtime, Little P very much liked snuggling with Mama P and hearing stories about what Mama P was like when she was a Little P. But there was one thing that Little P did not like. Candy. Who doesn't like candy? That's what you have to eat for dinner every night when you're a P. Candy, candy, candy. He doesn't look too excited about having to eat candy for dinner. Monday, red candy. Tuesday, orange candy. Wednesday, yellow candy. Thursday, purple and pink polka dotted candy. Friday, striped candy. Saturday, swirly candy. Sunday, rainbow candy. Little P hated all of it. I think I would be excited if I got to have candy for dinner. If you want to grow up to be a big, strong pea, you have to eat your candy, Papa P would say. If you don't finish your candy, then you can't have dessert, Mama P would say. How many pieces do I have to eat? Eat five pieces and you can have dessert. Five pieces, he whined. Five pieces, they chimed. One, yuck. Two, black. Three, bleh. Four, bleh. Five pieces of candy, now I can have dessert. Yes, now you can have dessert, said Mama P and Papa P. Little P couldn't wait to see what it was. So if he's having candy for dinner, I wonder what he's going to have for dessert. Spinach, squealed Little P. My favorite. He looks so happy about that spinach. As much as I love spinach, I don't know about having it for dessert. <laughs> Little P licked his dessert plate clean. Yum, yum, extra yum. And they lived happily ever after. You know, spinach is really good for you. And if you want to have spinach for dessert, you are more than welcome to have spinach for dessert. But I think I will stick to spinach for dinner and some candy for dessert. So thank you for joining me. And remember, 
eat your vegetables. (laughs) Bye.